What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and a new patch for Goat Simulator just came out today. I've been waiting on this one for a while, ever since I first heard about it. They said it was going to come sometime in middle May, but it got pushed back, and it had a hard release date of June 3rd, which is today. And so I've been waiting on this for a while, I'm pretty excited about it. They added some cool new stuff, including multiplayer, and a new map, and plus their overall patch notes are just pretty comical. I will be sure to leave a link to the patch notes in the description of this video so that you guys can definitely read through those. In order to get to the new map, we're just going to start a custom game and select Goat City Bay instead of Goatville. I'm going to select a few uh, modifiers here, including Angel Goat, Ripped Goat, and the new go Goat modifier, Double Jump, which works exactly like you think it would, uh, you know, the same way it does in Super Smash Brothers. You get a second jump which is pretty cool, and it makes getting around as a goat a little bit easier. We can go back to the first map through this tunnel here, uh, which lets us know that maybe they will be adding some more maps as well, maybe one for the hell side of the map on Purgatory, but it is definitely supposed to mean that this is supposed to be heaven, because you can go through the Himlin Tunnel, which I am not pronouncing right, I assume, uh, on the first map in order to get to this map, and that tunnel, you know, is translated to mean heaven. So this is supposed to be Goat Heaven, and that's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely a really nice place. Uh, it's kind of like a little resort town. There's a tall tower. You can probably see the roller coaster over there towards the left, and some other stuff as well. Those rainbow flags in front of this hotel or whatever it is means that all homosexual goats will be allowed into Goat Heaven as well. I believe that's what I interpreted anyway. The developer made it seem like it's pretty existential, so that's a pretty cool thing. And I've been looking for all these goat trophies here. I happen to find one right here. When I do find all the goat trophies, I will make a video on where to find all of those. Now, I'm, uh, when I first logged into the map, one of the first things I wanted to do was get to the top of this tower. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. Plus, there's a pretty cool surprise on top of the tower. I'm going to float over there now. The double goat and angel goat in combination work really well for climbing things because you can jump twice and then float and that's really nice. So we're gonna bounce on this mattress a couple times in order to make it all the way up this hotel. The mattress over here is really, really powerful, I noticed. It'll send you all the way up. You notice as we go higher that the music starts changing, and that's because Dead Mouse is actually gonna be on the roof, as we'll see in just a second. And there's a whole bunch of people, you know, raving out up here as well. They're all doing pretty cool, like, uh, choreographed dances or something. Apparently I broke something and that scared everybody. I'm going to headbutt Dead Mouse now just because I think it'll be funny. And you can actually take over his rave station here, his little uh, DJ station, and become Dead Goat. And that's pretty cool. Or Dead Goat 7 if you're lame. And then you can actually lead the rave and obviously when you get a goat modifier, pressing R uh, activates that particular power. And so then you're able to play the dubstep stuff wherever you go, which is pretty cool. And it might be a little bit more enjoyable than the normal goat simulator music, depending on your taste. We're going to go look around at some of the other parts of the map now. As you can see, it's a pretty big map. I'd say at least the size of the first map. Which brings me to uh, my next point, which is that for $10, goat simulator is actually a hell of a value. Uh, I'm going to get way more than 10 hours out of this game. Uh, some of me and my friends have like a rule, you know, don't spend X amount of dollars on a game unless you're going to get that. X amount of hours out of it. So if you're going to buy a game at full price, like $60, you should try to get, uh, you know, 60 hours out of it. Obviously, I've already got way more than 10 hours out of Goat Simulator, believe it or not. And all of them have been really fun hours. Plus, people who come over want to play it and stuff just because it's so goofy and fun. Now, I had licked that thing there that it said, don't lick, and it kind of sent me over here. I don't really know what all this stuff is in this map yet. I just got back from work not but an hour ago. And so I've just been barely, barely exploring this map. But as I find more, more out about it, I will be sure to share that with you guys. I definitely want to get back into that garage, though, because there's some other funny stuff in there. Uh, there's also a advertise, or what that big crystal was, I should say, is an advertisement for one of Coffee Stain Studios' other games called, like, Uncle Ben's Adventure. Or I don't think it's called Uncle Ben's Adventure. My Uncle's Adventure. It's something. I'll find the actual name of it and leave it linked in the description. I can't recall it offhand. I only saw the ad for it once. But it's a platform game. And, you know, as much as I like Goat Simulator, I'm going to have to... Or Uncle Fred. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and probably buy that game because I trust them enough at this point. I also enjoyed Sanctum 2. 
As you saw there, we ate a mushroom. It's good to know that you'll be able to do narcotics in heaven and hallucinogens. That's pretty neat. We're going to jump around here and find some other stuff to do. Visit this amusement park real quick. We're getting closer to the end of this video now. If you guys haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Obviously, I do other videos than just Goat Simulator stuff. But because the new patch has come out, I'm going to be doing some more Goat Simulator videos in the future, like I uh, mentioned earlier. Especially on how to find these little goat trophies. That's what I'm going to start spending the rest of my time on here. Uh, tonight is trying to find these goat trophies. I noticed that when you got the... Uh, crystal goat mod that turned you kind of gave you some siren tattoos and stuff you actually get a grapple tongue which is a really cool power and it kind of allows you to scale bil buildings kind of easy and I'm eventually gonna try to grapple to that damn helicopter I was trying here but I couldn't figure it out um, I think that'll be pretty cool or at least I'm gonna try to jump on the blades or something I'm gonna try to figure out something cool you can do with the helicopter I found out that you could blow up the hang glider in the first map and I thought that was pretty cool uh, we're gonna try to get back up to the tower now and you know get a hold of the Helicopter I have to warn you though. Uh, it doesn't work I don't mean to spoil this for you But I haven't exactly figured out what you can do with the helicopter yet, and I'd sure like to you'll notice here that the reflection in this particular glass isn't uh, You know accurate the helicopters not moving or anything and I had actually heard uh, recently that apparently mirrors are a really hard Hard thing to pull off in video games, and so I found that kind of interesting I kind of remember Borderlands 2 having some decent mirror reflections. Obviously, the player wasn't reflected, though. Like I said, I'm going to try to jump down on this uh, helicopter now. I was actually going to try to grapple to it, but I couldn't figure it out. Once I do figure it out, I'll definitely be sure to bring that video to you guys as well. Plus, any more stuff I figure, about, figure out about this map, especially including those Goat Simulator trophies. I do thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to catch you around when I find out some more stuff about this map. Bye, guys.